We saw that in August 2024, Nikkei 225 had a huge plunge of more than 20% in just a few days. What is the impact of this huge plunge? I think that technically, there could be a strong indication that there is a change in the trend of Nikkei 225. In this video, I'll be taking you through my analysis. Most important, if you are interested to hedge or trade into Nikkei 225, we're going to explore using warrants. This video is proudly sponsored by my Quarry. This is the futures chart of Nikkei 225. Uh, let's talk about uh, what happened before the plunge. Okay, so this was that huge plunge, right? Uh, before that, the price had a downward movement. Then it went up to hit into a resistance level. So these are the resistance level. Now, one thing to observe when it went to the resistance levels, price was really very bullish. And what happened after next? There was an immediate drop. So there was a push towards the resistance and then after that price moved back down. So that was what happened at that point of time. Now let's take a look at Nikkei 225 right now. So price is near to a resistance level. So this is the resistance level and this resistance level is given by a previous high as well as a previous low. Now at this moment, price again had this huge push. There was a bullish bar here, all right? There was a huge push upwards. Let me just zoom in to show it to you. You can see that near the resistance levels, this is what I mean by a huge push upwards. And after that, right, right in now as of trading, price is heading downwards at a resistance level. And if history is repeat, my thoughts would be that this could be some bearish movement for Nikkei 225. If price is to move down, there could be certain support level. The first support level will be the 3,700 region here. And that coincides with a previous high. Of course, the next support level will be 30,700 because this was the previous low where price stopped after the huge plunge. I'm right now at warrens.com.isg page and under the Warren selector, I've chosen Nikkei 225 as the underlying and based on my analysis, I'm a little bit bearish, so I choose a put Warren. So let's do a little bit of a simulation on how the warrants uh, might move in terms of the price, the movement of Nikkei 225. Imagine if I think that it's going to go to 33,700 as the support level, that means from 35,000, it's going to move to 33,700. And then that might come in, uh, for example, two weeks, right? So these would be the price movement of the warrants. Okay, let's assuming that price doesn't move down, but you bought a put warrant, which is to profit if the underlying is to move down, but it doesn't, right? And it moves up to, let's say, 37,700. This would be the loss of the warrant. Trading into warrants as of any other derivative instruments is high risk and you should evaluate whether this is an instrument that is suitable for you. But if you think that Nikkei 225 is an opportunity, then you might want to consider warrants as one of your instruments. I've illustrated how I'm doing the analysis on Nikkei 225 and I hope that you like this quick and short analysis. And if you have any other trading ideas that you want me to talk about, do give me a message at the comment section and I see you in my next video.